Quick primer. How do we diagnose sexual orientation? We ask a person, what is your sexual orientation? I'm not even kidding. Homosexual, heterosexual, and bisexual cover pretty much all the bases, with bisexual being anybody not keen on lying about their inability to choose, but there are a handful of folks out there that identify as heterosexual who nevertheless have sex with the same gender. The psychological community tags these people as men who have sex with men and women who have sex with women. And of course you occasionally have the odd homosexual who nevertheless sometimes has sex with the opposite gender, which I suppose an honest person would just be calling somebody who could choose. This, by the way, is the way that they handle the documented cases of prison sex that everybody's been giving Ben Carson so much trouble in the media about. So anybody that actually expresses an ability to choose in any way, shape, or form is simply tagged with some sort of orientation, and then if they happen to veer off of their orientation every once in a while, they're tagged as the kind of person who occasionally veers off of their orientation. And then there's the new kid on the block, sexual fluidity. That's when you wake up one morning with an entirely different sexual orientation than you had yesterday. That's gotta suck! Thus we have this pristine science, whereby everybody has their little label, and nobody's allowed to believe they can control themselves, and nobody's allowed to question it because, did I tell you, we're the experts! Don't question authority! In the meantime, there is absolutely no science of free will. Period. B.F. Skinner's behavioral engineering at least had some higher purpose. The purpose of orientation science is largely to support the worst elements of the political left by supplying them with a handful of new victims to pander to. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.